everybody, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Sarah. I am 23 years old and I'm a hardware manufacturing engineer at Microsoft. I make lifestyle videos, career videos, all that fun stuff. So you should definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. But today I am doing a desk makeover. It's officially been a little over a year since I started working from home, which is absolutely crazy. And I finally decided it is time to dedicate some resources to revamping my workspace since I do spend a lot of time at my desk. Before this desk makeover, my boyfriend and I shared an office room. We rent a two bedroom apartment and we use one of the bedrooms as an office. In theory, at first this sounded like a really good idea, but the problem is both of us have a lot of meetings. So it was really hard for us to work in the same room because if we were taking meetings at the same time, the other person's computer would pick up on the other person's voice and it got really confusing. <laughs> This is an overview of the main area of our apartment. It's our combined living room and behind me, we also have the kitchen here. So I thought that this would be the best corner over here. This is where our dining table used to be, which now I've scooted it over here and I still am not sure where I'm gonna put it. But I think this would be a good spot for my desk so I get a little corner window view. It's also tucked away a little bit behind this concrete wall or maybe it's slightly in front of it so that when we're watching TV, you know, I don't see my workspace so I can get that work-life separation. everything that I bought linked in the description box below. My desk is from Amazon. It is a motorized standing desk, which is really nice because you can work at a sitting height and then you can have some preset settings or just hit the riser button and have it go to a standing desk height. I also have a monitor riser on my desk. My desk is actually kind of small. I think if I were to buy this desk again, I would buy a slightly bigger size because I really like to work on notebooks and spread my stuff out. If you only work on a computer, this desk is the perfect size. But I also got a monitor riser. That way I had some more space under my monitors to store stuff away. The monitor riser is also from Amazon. My two monitors are provided by my company, so I did not have to purchase these, but I also don't get to keep them. Next, it came time to decorate the space on my desk. The first thing I have is this little green cup I thrifted and I put all my colorful markers on there. These markers are a way to one, add color to my space, but also two, um, they help me incorporate my creative side into my engineering job because I like to do a lot of illustrations, also decorate my notes and doodle while I'm taking those long meetings to help me stay focused. The next thing I have is this cute little plant from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has the most affordable desktop plants. My apartment space is pretty industrial in style and also furniture I chose is pretty dark color, so having some greenery in the form of plants really helps brighten up the space. I also have this catch-all dish tray that I got from a local store. I'm not sure what the name is. I'll try to find it and link a similar one down below. And I also have a fake little cactus plant from I think either Marshalls or Ross. To add a few decorative pieces to my desk, I have these little houses I got as the most typical tourist in Amsterdam during one of my work trips last year, or actually it was two years ago now. I also have this camera that I made in design in college that I absolutely love, a banana pencil case from Urban Outfitters. Of course, I needed a water bottle. I have this water bottle that TikTok so kindly sent me along with a bunch of other goodies and it's my current water bottle that I am using. But my favorite types of water bottles for our work from home desk situations are ones with straws. Those get me to drink the most water because I can kind of just answer email, type away, and drink water from the straw at the same time. I also have a candle at my workspace. I really like lighting this candle before I do work because now I've started to associate the scent with getting into the work zone. I also have this microphone on an arm setup situation. The arm stand is from Amazon and the microphone is the blue snowball microphone which is either from Target or Best Buy. Not completely sure, but I'll have it linked down below. This arm stand is actually really great because I can detach the microphone and attach my camera so that this way I have an overview camera tripod as well. Having the microphone on an arm stand is also really handy because it doesn't take up extra space on my desk to store and I can pull it in when I need it and also push it away when I don't need it. It's completely upgraded my audio game. When I'm taking calls with my coworkers, my audio quality is really good. I no longer have issues where my coworkers can't hear me clearly like I did when I was using the built in microphone on my laptop or the built-in microphone on my airpods i also got this model magic clay that i absolutely love it's from amazon there are a bunch of different four color sets i personally chose a pastel colored set i originally got this clay because i was going to make a border case 
for my monitor inspired by those foam border mirrors but then I realized I have to move quite soon and making my monitors take up any more space than they already do probably wouldn't serve me well. So I ended up just playing with the clay and I actually found a new purpose for it. It is the best thing to keep me focused and attentive during those long virtual meetings. I'll play with the clay while I'm listening and create little figurines. I made this cute little house and the cute little mushroom guy. I also made him a little coffee cup. I made a caterpillar dude with a bow tie, although I dropped him and his head fell off, so I had to throw him away. But the clay is amazing in keeping me focused during these meetings because they take up just enough of my attention so that I can't get distracted, but not too much of my attention so that I can still stay focused on the meeting. One of my favorite things I added to my work from home space, which I'm sure all of you have seen it on your For You page on TikTok, is this green keyboard. It's also from Amazon. It comes with a green mouse and the sounds it makes when you're clicking away is just so satisfying. It motivates me to go in and write specifications that I need to for my job and answer emails. It's pretty pricey, honestly, for what it is, but there aren't too many options like it. The tech space is definitely lacking in hardware with feminine styles, but I'm excited that more feminine styles are entering the tech space. Finally, the last section of my desk makeover is to customize the digital space on my computer. So one, I cleared all my files. I cleaned up my desktop. If you have a bunch of files on your desktop, I know that clutter can be stressful. So just clear that away, keep it organized. And from there, the next step for me was to find a wallpaper that I enjoyed. I went online. I looked up some Studio Ghibli wallpapers. I found some on getwallpapers.com. Studio Ghibli a couple of months ago released a bunch of free wallpapers of illustrations from different scenes throughout the Studio Ghibli movies that are absolutely adorable. So I just picked one, I downloaded it, and I set it as my desktop screen background. Another fun thing I did was change the icons on my desktop. The icons have a default image and it looks very corporate, especially for Windows computers. So I wanted to customize these to some cute little icons. I actually pulled up some illustrations that I already made and had on my iPad. I used a free .jpg to .ico file to convert the file into an icon file. After I had my files converted to .ico files, I went to my desktop. I right clicked on my icons, pulled up the properties, clicked change icon and hit browse and chose the .ico file that I wanted that icon to be. The illustrations I had previously made didn't fit the icons perfectly, but it's what I had already made. And I'm probably gonna go back, illustrate and customize these icons further. If you don't wanna illustrate your own icons, you can pick images off the internet or also on Etsy. A lot of people create digital icons and sell them in packages that you can purchase. You can also change the size that these icons on on your desktop super easily. Just right click any open space you have on your desktop and select the icon size you want, whether it's large, medium, or small. This customization I did is for PCs since I do work primarily on a PC for work. If you're interested in how to do this on a Mac, there are tons of free articles online. You can just look up how to change icon images on Mac and I'm sure you're gonna find lots of good results on there as well. This is my finished desk makeover. I absolutely love it. I'm really excited to work here. It's a nice refresh to have after spending a lot of time sitting at my desk and I'm glad I finally invested some resources into making over my work from home space. Thank you for watching this video. I just want to finish off with one more message. Hello, it's editing Sarah. I rewatched the clip of me talking and it was kind of hard to follow. So I'm just going to re-record it and reshare the message I have. So I have three points to make. Point number one, women have historically entered the workplace a lot later than men. As a result, companies have had to learn way too recently that the workplace also needs to be designed for women. For example, just giving women maternity leave and not giving the other partner paternity leave sets up the woman to carry an unfair amount of responsibilities to take care of the home and children and also forces women to take more time off of work when they have kids, which is typically in their early 30s at the peak of their career. Or a company only recently realizing that they need reserved parking for pregnant women so that pregnant women don't have to walk far distances to go from the parking lot to work. Or even something small, such as having trash cans in every stall in the bathroom. I've been in too many bathrooms in corporate 
separate building where there were not trash cans in each individual stall. This is important for women because women have menstrual products to dispose of. Point number two, it's so important to have diverse teams at work. Prime example of this is car crash test dummies were designed by a group of only male engineers. And as a result, the crash dummies were designed to be the average size, height, weight of an average adult male. And then these dummies were used to design safety features in cars, which led to car safety features being designed to protect the average size, height, and weight of an adult male. As a result, women were disproportionately getting injured and losing their lives in car crashes. Point number three, yes, we need to make sure we are hiring women. And this extends beyond gender to people of color, people of different religions. It's also important to recognize intersectionality between these groups. But even once we have these diverse teams, it is so important to design a work environment that serves them and is inclusive to them. I thought this message was applicable to my desk makeover video because in making over my desk, I realized how the design of corporate work offices are typically so masculine. This can lead to or worsen the imposter syndrome a lot of women already feel because women are working and expected to thrive in an environment where even the visual cues of how the place is designed subconsciously tells you that you don't fit in. I read this amazing quote from this woman at Microsoft email thread that I'm in and I just wanted to share the quote with you all. The quote is, when a flower doesn't bloom, you fix the environment in which it grows and not the flower. With these three points, my ultimate message is to, one, encourage women to bring their feminine energy into their workspaces and also to bring awareness to our allies. Uh, if you are starting a business, if you work in a corporate environment, how important it is to be conscious of how it's designed and how it's served and is inclusive of all kinds of people. I know right now we're working from home, but I'm excited to bring all the colorful things I've brought into my workspace into the office when we do return because it's important to make the workplace representative of all the people that work there. Thank you again for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.